we're taking another look at the 2024 transfer portal as the Miami Hurricanes just did something sneaky as they picked up an FCS quarterback who has tremendous upside. And I'm talking about Reese Poffenberger from Albany who has a tremendous arm on him. We're going to take a look at the highlights. We're going to take a look at his stats. We're going to take a look at the scouting reports. Before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the transfer portal, the 2024 recruiting class, all offseason long. And you need to know about these players that are signing with your team right now. So when they start making plays this year, next year, the year after, you know a little bit something about them as they're competing in spring ball for a spot or even a position on the starting lineup for your team. Click that button. Stop missing out. But we're going straight to the 24-7 Sports Player Profile page as Reese Poffenberger transfer to the U. QB 55 in the transfer portal rankings from the FCS level. Six foot 208 from Middletown, Maryland here. And he hit the portal on December 20th, National Signing Day, and then got picked up rather quickly considering there was holidays in between here on January 8th to the Miami Hurricanes. Looks like they've been paying attention to him and his game. We do not have much to go off of. So let's dig into the stats. We're going to go to PFF. Look at the game log here. Against Marshall, 194 yards passing and a touchdown. Hawaii, 93 yards. However, we got some 300-yard games here. 373 against New Hampshire. 324 against Rhode Island. 329 against Maine. 253 against Stony Brook. 340 against Idaho. And then looking at the advanced metrics down here, he's got 12.1 average depth of target and 11.5. 11.8 on his career. We're looking right here if I can highlight it right there. That means he's pushing the ball downfield. He likes to throw deep balls. That being said, he's going to be aggressive with the ball in his hands. That's what that stat is really saying if you look at it objectively. And adjusted completion rate right beside it right here, 68.4 in 2023, 70.1 in 2022, 69.1 on his career, and then his completion rate on his career, 59.5. You may not be too excited about that, but he is pushing the ball a lot, especially this year, 473 attempts. 539 dropbacks, so he's got a lot of experience at the college level, although it's FCS. That's some experience you can bank on. 36 touchdowns, 7.6 yards per pass attempts, 3,600 yards, 2,900 yards a year prior, almost 3,000. So we're getting some numbers here. And then we got a QB rating of 96.8, 102.1. So has been productive at the FCS level when we're looking at him as a prospect but also when we look at his passing depth here one thing i want to point out about him he likes to throw the deep ball 16 touchdowns 20 plus yards nine touchdowns 20 plus yards six touchdowns 20 plus yards 311 yards 591 419 all 20 plus yards all over the field he's got a lot of passing tips he likes to throw it deep when it comes to the middle of the field you're getting some work done as well. 83 out of 110 attempts between the numbers, 0 to 10 yards, 27 to 51, between 10 and 20 yards. So between the middle of the field, where the trash is at, he's fairly consistent. 100.1 quarterback rating on 0 to 10 yards between the numbers, and then 89.2. 10 to 20 yards between the numbers. So when he's operating between the trash, he's fairly accurate, fairly consistent. And then on the outside, 93.9, 106. So fairly consistent here, but he's aggressive with the ball in his hands. That's something you may want with your quarterback, especially a young guy who's transferring over from the FCS level. You don't want a lame duck. You want a guy that's really pushing it. That's something you want to see from your players. But we're going to analyze this from the highlights. We're going to look at that. We're going to go ahead and dig into the tape here of Reese Poffenbarger. Let me know what you see here. Let me know if you like what you see. But here we go. We're hitting the ball towards the sideline here, allowing the wide receiver to get to the ball where he can catch it and the deep ease farther away. Here he's just getting the ball out there, getting it to his wide receiver. On the next play, we're stepping back. We're rolling out. Bam, we're slinging it on the run a little bit. 
some mobility, and we're getting it to our man. We're getting it towards the sideline again, putting the ball in the correct place so the DB cannot get to it, so the wide receiver can get to the ball and really bring it in. Keeping his eyes downfield on that one, he could have ran with it. He's good on the run, good feel the pocket like we're seeing, and now we can see the mobility here on this play. He's rolling. He's rolling, not a fast dual threat quarterback like a Mike Vick or anything, but you know what? He's good enough to extend the play, if not give you a little bit more. That's what you're getting from Reese Poffenbarger here. He's got some mobility. That's a good thing, to extend the play, to get some yards on the ground. Stepping back here, we're throwing it. We're rolling, we're rolling. Eyes downfield, though. Eyes downfield, and that's a tighter window than advertised back of the end zone. And we have him circled by defenders. Now we're rolling out again. Downfields, eyes is down there. Finds his guy, gets it towards the sideline. Rolling out. Here we go. We're looking again. Finds our guy. There's a little laser by the pylon. Not too bad. Gets it where you need to be. He's very conservative with the football. Boom. But this is highlights, not lowlights. We don't have the lowlights mixing in. We got to see it all. But FCS level, you're not going to get it all. Here we go again. Finding his wide receiver, getting it to where he can make a play. I like when he's pressured, he keeps his eyes downfield. I think that's a good thing. I think that's going to be good, especially stepping up to the next level. But they got themselves a prospect. Now let's see him compete in spring ball, see what he can do. Boom, throws it downfield. He does have some experience. He's got some mobility. And... He's got some balls because he's slinging it downfield. He's not scared to sling it downfield. He's got an arm on him. Not the strongest arm. We've seen a lot stronger arms. I mean, Anthony Richardson per se. But again, he's not afraid to push it downfield. And we see that with the ADOT, the average depth of target when he throws it. And we're seeing it here on tape. He pushes it downfield. If you're getting open downfield, he's going to give you that opportunity. He's fairly accurate downfield. Good ball placement too on a lot of these. There we go. There we go on that one. Solid play. Stepping back. Looking downfield. Even you leaving. And he had a good anticipation there. Gets it out quick. He runs through plays in his head very fast. Good mental processor. Another one downfield. Allowing his wide receiver to make a play. Getting some yak after the catch there. Good balance by the wide receiver, too. Good balance. Stepping back. Boom. Getting it downfield. Getting it in front of his wide receiver, too. Yak is also a quarterback stat. So, again, getting that ball right out in front of him to where he can reel it in and keep running in stride. That's something you want to take note on. Boom. We can throw in the run, too, a little bit. And remember, these are FCS highlights. We usually look at high school highlights, so this is at a higher level, a much higher level, really, compared to some of these high schoolers. A much, much higher, even the top-tier high schools. But still, lower than what we're used to from D1, FBS. But FCS, again, he's making that step up, throwing it on the run, back foot a little bit, boom, and sling it. Out a little bit away so it's away from the defender. He's got some placement there on some of these. Look at him step up. Bam. He's not afraid to push it downfield. He gets it there. He's assertive. I'll say that much. He's a gunslinger. Bam. He doesn't care. That's one reason why the completion percentage is a little bit lower. And another reason is because some of these balls are going downfield. A lot of them. We have an 8 out of over 12 here. Pushing 13. That being said, the acuity of these attempts, you're going to have some incompletions. But again, we're pushing it downfield. We're assertive. We're aggressive. If I'm transferring to the next level, and i got to make this jump quick because some of my years of eligibility has been burnt up, I have to be aggressive. I have to do that. And if I want my quarterback, who I just got in the transfer portal from a lower level, to help us, he needs to be assertive. And that's what he's doing here, pushing it downfield. That's what you want. 
and an assertive quarterback because you only got so much time left of your college career to really develop and really put the stamp on things at the next level. You have to be assertive. You can't be a lame duck out there. We're not getting that from Reese Poffenbarger. You're already seeing him push it downfield a lot right here to where the wide receiver can make a play. Signed with Miami on January 8th. Today is the 11th, just a few days ago. But we got to talk about him. We're rolling out. We're keeping the eyes downfield, as you can see. He's pressured. He keeps his eyes downfield. Now we're running it. We have a little bit of mobility. I don't know the best way to describe it. Not really dual threat, but we can extend things out. He's not going to be a lame duck back there. He's not going to be a statue. He's going to extend the play. Look at him. Look at that feel in the pocket. Keeping his eyes downfield. Good fundamentals. Good fundamentals. And aggressive, assertive. Stepping up. Slings it deep. Boom. There we go. There we go. Another solid one. Downfield where he can make a play and get you some yak. Steps up. Spins out. Bam. Think about that. I found that wide receiver so quick after... Dealing with all that in the pocket. Stepping up and making the play. Spin moving all. Boom. Rockets is up there. Gets to where his wide receiver can make a play. Rolling out a little bit. Bam. Slings it to the wide receiver. Again, not the strongest arm in the game. And since he's aggressive, that should allow him to compete in spring ball here out of Miami. And possibly give you some competition and maybe work his way up the depth chart. We have some upside here because he throws it downfield. He's aggressive. He's accurate. Has a good feel of the pocket. Has a little bit of mobility. Can extend the play. Fun playmaker here at the quarterback position. He's very gritty. He has a little bit of Tony Romo in him, especially on that one play where you saw the blitz come in. He spun out, was still able to look downfield, make it happen, and he just has that touch downfield. Even though he does not have the strongest arm, you saw that. We've seen a lot of other quarterbacks on this channel, like DJ Lagways, just sling rocks around. And then in the draft, like an Anthony Richardson, those are different arms. But since he's assertive, since he has a lot of balls on him, he's not as scared to push it deep. Even when the window's starting to get a little tight, that's a thing that you want out of your quarterback, especially when you only got a few years of eligibility left and he needs to hammer it home now, put the stamp on things now. That's what you're getting from a Reese Poffenbarger. So when he's coming to compete in camp this summer, this spring, you got a guy that could give you some upside, especially if he starts winning on the practice field. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. I want to hear about him. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out because we're going to have more videos like this. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.